What it is, what it do, cyber world. It's your girl, the one, the only, Ash Brown. And this is the Ash Brown Uncensored Show. On this show, I talk a little bit about everything. It may be pop culture related. It may be Ash Brown related. You just gotta stay tuned to see what it is that I'm gonna talk about, all right? And today I wanna talk about a double standard. I wanna talk about a double standard. Why? Because I can. That's what it's going to be about, because I can. Now, throughout culture and people and situations and relationships and all of this, the top story is, oh, you know, a woman shouldn't trick a man into getting pregnant and, you know, trapping this man in a situation or whatever the case is. But you never hear the other side of that same coin. How a woman shouldn't be tricked into motherhood and or stepmotherhood just because his life is in the gutter. I'm going to example a little bit. So, (laughs) without putting anybody on front street, because, you know, we just, we talk about stories. All are true. Hmm. The names may have to be changed, though. But, okay. The situation was this guy got married, had some kids, broke up with wife, tried to basically incorporate an ex-girlfriend into the mix and make her the stepmother without her consent, of course, make sure I put that in there. And I say to that is. There's so much focus on women being trifling. And don't get me wrong. There are a lot of women out there in this world today that are giving all women a bad name. Don't get me wrong. That's totally true. But I'm not talking about those women. I'm talking about the women that are looking for the opportunity to be themselves, to be individuals, to live life on their terms, to fall in love, to be in a relationship. But unfortunately, you have some guys out here that want to trap them too. Trap them with baby. Trap them with kids. Mm. Kids that ain't even theirs. Mm. And it's just unbelievable. It's really unbelievable how some people can be so narcissistic. And I'll talk about on both ends of the spectrum. I'm talking about mostly men on this one because that's what I'm, you know, that's what I'm versed in. But there are a lot of women also that create situations that can get a little sticky. But no, we're talking about the men. We're talking about the men. That's that's trifling. And it just blows my mind. It absolutely blows my mind that... There are some guys out there that really don't give a crap about what it is that you want to do. They don't care about your goals, about your hopes, your dreams, and what you want to accomplish. They just want what they want when they want it. And they don't look at what you've got going on or how they can help enhance your dreams, your goals, your future. They're just looking at you as, okay, she's an end to a means. She's the solution to all these problems. And I know that a lot of men have looked at me in the past as a fixer. And when I say that, because I helped to... I had a hand in raising a lot of young people in my childhood, in my earlier formative years. And I know how to handle children. I do. But just because I know how to handle children does not mean I wish to bring any into this world. And a woman 30 plus, I say 35, well, we'll go 35 plus, you know, 35 plus. Typically, she knows what she wants. Typically, she has a pretty good idea. And she has a stronghold on whether or not kids are an option for her. Typically, by that age, I would say, you know, there there may be a few wildflowers out there just roaming, tumbleweeds just in the wind. 
But for the most part, they know. So when a woman tells you she doesn't wish to be a mother, believe her. Believe her. Because nine times out of ten, she's being upfront and honest with you. And she doesn't need convincing. She doesn't need statistics. She needs you to just be an adult and respect her decision. Now, it should be a woman's right, but that's a whole other story. It should be a woman's right to choose whether or not she does bring life into this world. And for a man to step in and say, oh, no, well, you've just not heard the right story. Or, oh, no, um, you just haven't uh, met the right guy or whatever the case is. Who are you to tell her what her future is? Who are you, darling? Who are you? She's usually pretty aware of who she is. She has a pretty good stance on who she is as a person. And she doesn't need you or anyone else telling her who she is. She knows it. She knows who she is. She doesn't need you. She doesn't need that. So it's humorous and quite disturbing that in 2022... There are still men that are hell-bent on telling women what they want. It's insane, actually. It's quite maddening to be 100 with you. Quite maddening indeed. And who's to say that this woman, even if she doesn't want to bring life into this world, who's to say she want to be a stepmama to your badass kids? Who said that? Who said that? I want to know who said that because I want to slap them in the face. (laughs) And I want to shake some truth into them. I want to shake some realness into them. Who said that? Because not every woman wants to be a mother. And certainly not every woman wants to be a stepmother. I'm just putting it out there. Just putting those words out into the universe. You know, it's, it's just humorous to me. It's very humorous to me. Um, how selfish and self-centered some people can be. It's crazy. Like, If someone doesn't share your viewpoints on children and life and future and everything else, not to mention y'all are not compatible. And you just keep, it, keep that shit moving. Keep it going. Because nine times out of ten, you're going to find that person that you're equally yoked with. That person that you should be paired with. But what do I know? They say, Ash, you're crazy. You don't know what you're talking about. Maybe I am. Or maybe. I've just been living enough life to know some things, mm, they should be left alone. Mm, I'm just saying. There's my little two cents there. I hope that you guys are having a great, fantabulous week. Um, It's a little rainy here in Seattle, but I'm sure we'll get over that. I'm supposed to get back to uh, the A soon, so we'll see how that is, but... I love y'all. Have a great one. Have a powerful, prosperous, and just purposeful week. I love y'all. Thank you for the support. And I'm going to see y'all online. Deuces.